morning everyone welcome to the channel uh, going ahead putting the flow sense on from precision planning on this 2150 s today so we'll go ahead and walk you guys through how we put this on and then we got to put the guidance equipment back in the tractor to get ready for planting and we'll bring you guys along if you guys haven't already like and subscribe to the channel there's plenty more technology stuff out in agriculture coming this way and uh, let's get started. This is what we got for install today. This is the flow sense from Precision Planning. I'm going to be adding this to the planner with the liquid lines going through here. Walk over to the planner. on a good row up here we got our individual liquid shut off with our nozzle we had our hose plugged into here goes down row unit up to here that goes through this boot and comes out that hole right there our green line uh, the green line is our totally tubular so it's an orifice tube you can see it there how the diameter of the inside of the hose is smaller we were just coming right out of here and we're gonna add our flow sense in line here before we get to this so we know the amount of product that we're putting out to tie the flow sense in on the case h21 series planters it's nice since they're already precision based we got our srm right here so we go ahead and we Pull this down right here in our SRM, pull our cap off. And then I have extension cables to run and get that put in. Um, but it's the same principle and idea as this. You just take your six pin connector here from the flow sense itself and you just add it to that. In this case, since I got an extension cable on the flow sense, they made a Y. That way you don't take up the and you can't plug like an implement switch or anything back in so I go ahead and take the cap that they gave us on the SRM and just put it on that extra port and the extension cable will go from the plug there to here and that's what gets us all the way up to the top here so we can add our cables I'll walk around to the other side quick I went ahead and did one row just to make sure the mock-up was gonna work for it. So as you can see, we go up. I got our extra cable put in right there, and there's our flow sense. So we just got a short stub liquid line coming out of it, going into there, and then our totally tubular line on the outside, and it just goes down to our boot. Got our extra liquid line here. We'll just cut off. Then these nozzles come off from the wet boom. We just push this in. They're quick connect so they should stay in. Once our nozzle body is back on, go ahead and plug our flow sense into that first then we take our green end that was in there and just put it to the outport side of the flow sense and since this uh, green tube is totally tubular it acts as an orifice so we can't cut it or take any length out of it going down we need that to get the right amount of product out at the bottom so you see here, just added our hose, went around to our flow sense and 
spread it back down to the tube. Next, we're going to go ahead and update the 2020. We got the 2024 planting season on our stick. Uh, good practice to do also when we're getting it updated. As I always go, I've had it cause problems before. Get our can lines here for the planter unplugged. And then go ahead, once we get everything back updated plug that in afterwards that way all the SRMs and speed tubes and everything on the planter can get updated it's just good practice to keep them separated that way we don't have a glitch or something happen hey guys we're in the cab now all the flow sense meters are on we got the 2020 up here so for setup we're gonna go here 
and then first thing go to our products and we got our seating in here if we go to equipment we don't have any liquid system over here so we're gonna add it add a liquid add our product we'll go ahead and just call it a starter for now back up once we get that added go to systems and then now over here on the side we got our starter so we can go to that active rows we got all and then um, we're going to add hardware make sure we go to the flow sense here and you want to pick the rows that you got it on so the way i got it set up here is need to pick all the odd rows since it's a split planner And then here you got a row and it wants you to assign the parts depending on what color cable you got so you can keep it all together. I go all the way down to this first aux since it's coming off the uh, SRM like I showed you guys. So we hit that and every single one of these we're going to go through to make sure they're on the first auxiliary okay went ahead we got all those done I'm going to continue here is where we can adjust our flow rate that way if we get a reading that we know is off from doing a catch test we can go ahead and adjust it if we need to okay once we got all these auxiliaries done go to the next one you can go ahead and hit uh, for the first row you can assign it to make sure first row aux is actually doing row one, row three, row five, all the odd rows. You want to make sure they all match going down to 31 on this particular planner. Go ahead and hit done. And then to uh, make sure and double check we can go up here, we got all our dots that are being assigned to it. Another thing we can do is hit back, go to the diagnose page, and then over here we got our starter with the check mark. We can hit that, and it brings us here to our flow sense. Tap on that, and here's all the readings you can get. So it's good practice if you're doing a test with water or something before we go to the field. Um, we can look at all these and see the gallons per minute and flow, make sure we're getting everything correct like we needed to.